Hi, I'm Daryl Leary. Oh yeah, check this out. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta tell you people, if you don't think that your YouTube videos make an impact on people, whatever your views are, I want you to look at this. This is the first time this has ever happened to me. And I'm not part of any partnership program and I certainly don't get paid for YouTube videos. This morning I was I was at home, I was, uh, my girlfriend brought in the mail and I got this letter and I'm sitting there dating undated family photos and this letter came to me from Manchester NH, I'm assuming that's New Hampshire this letter right here ends up in my mailbox so I open it so I'm thinking I wasn't expecting that it's got my name on it Mr. Daryl Leary and this person found out my address I don't even know how they did that because as far as I know anyone on YouTube uh, that sees my channel they know I'm from Edmonton Alberta Canada but and my Facebook has always been privatized so it's obviously a very clever person who did this I get this letter and this is the letter right here and I'll slowly bring it up and I'll slowly bring it back this is an anonymous letter so there's no per se um, fixed return address just the state and the country and even the letter has no s no signature on it but I'll read you the letter it says dear Mr. Leary I have enjoyed watching your videos on YouTube and the last one you posted on August 29th is my favorite I have enclosed $35 to cover your production expenses in hopes that you will continue to create similar videos I particularly enjoyed the upbeat, happy, and friendly tone of the video and the group involvement for the world record attempt. If you can recreate the same environment to produce a similar video with the same number of balloons or even more balloons, I would gladly support your work with another donation towards your production expenses. Some people take a world record attempt way too seriously, but I hope you succeed in your attempt to break a world record without compromising the artistic style of your videos which appear to be fun and lighthearted. Best of luck to you. So again there's like no name on this letter. And within that letter is this small little envelope. And this is regarding the video I made where I I, I personally I spent thirty five dollars and I blew up like five hundred balloons and it was for a community event. It was like the Youngstown Mini uh, Olympics and we started the whole thing off with the 500 balloon sitting in my backyard and all these kids came in there and and and, and just popped them because kids love to pop balloons so in this letter here in this closed part it's got 35 dollars of canadian money i mean this is like the real deal here right because in that video i mentioned it took so many man hours you know, all blown up by one man, $35, and so forth. <clears throat> so, I mean, this is a first time, and I'm going to put this in the personal records section of my, um, my channel, under my personal records playlist, because this is definitely a record for the most gratitude I've ever received for a YouTube video. I mean, that's, that's, I was just, um, I was just blown away, and to the man of, we'll call him, um, Mr. Manchester, if that's alright with him, I hope it is, or her, I don't mean to be politically biased, but we'll go with Mr. Manchester. Um, I'd like to say thank you and 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 this is this is this is what I mean you you never have an idea of how much impact 
something you do on YouTube will have on other people and and maybe sometimes you don't see that impact personally in your own life because it, they just carry on that impact or that influence but don't underestimate your 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 overall message and intent within that video um, despite how many views you have uh, it reminds me of the old story of uh, the little boy that was throwing starfish into the ocean because they wound up on the beach and they were gonna dehydrate and ultimately die and the man walks to the starfish and says I mean walks up to the little boy and says why are you bothering to throw all these starfish back in the ocean when there's like hundreds of thousands being swept up every day that are gonna die and the little boy picked up a starfish and just before he threw it in the ocean he says it makes all the difference to this one starfish so that's, that's what really, what really what I mean and I'm I'm going to follow through on this and I'm gonna plan two surprises the first surprise and the only detail I'm sure of it now is that I'm gonna cover myself in a bunch of balloons so I'm gonna be like a walking balloon man but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this to the extreme so I'm gonna try to have like 100, 200, 300, as many balloons as I can possibly figure out and, and how I can stick them onto myself and then I'm going to put a little message on each balloon something meaningful like um, I don't know maybe God loves you or something like this right and I'm just going to walk through the neighborhood and uh, and you'll be able to see the video with all the people's reactions and this type of thing so that's what I'm going to use the $35 for and then I'm planning a second um, big epic um, video for this and I don't know the details of it yet I just know I'm going to do it so <clears throat> um, thank you so much mister mrs miss Manchester um, I mean this totally inspired me it really did I mean just to know that it's one of my videos you know um, personally reached one person and I just I think that's amazing you know um, is uh, it just it just made my day it just completely made my day I mean it's the first thing for me and wow I was just blown away seriously so this is the precursor video and I'm gonna try my best to do this big because I figure if you're gonna go for a record think big if you're gonna have fun think big so uh, yeah he also mentions too I just want to say that uh, he also mentions too that uh, um, some people take a world record attempt way too seriously and and how the style of my videos appear to be fun and lighthearted but I don't care if I am I don't care if there's people out there who are bigger or stronger or faster or smarter than me I really don't care about that what I really care about is proving the human spirit and by that I mean is that like when I was doing the truck push when I was pushing the 5,000 pound truck one mile you know um, again there was the the two people that were in the truck they kept thinking oh he's gonna give up and they thought that like three four times and that's what I mean I know there's like big huge massive muscular guys in the gym and this type of thing but I want to prove that with the human spirit that you know people can do these things and that's really the point you know that the human spirit is something metaphysical that that that's beyond just the flesh although a little muscle does help <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> so uh, that that would be the end of this video